Hey everybody, welcome back to my Project 13. On my way to work, another morning vlog. I don't know how many of these I've done, but I know it's quite a few. Nevertheless, drinking my coffee. Got a banana and a chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, I took my vitamins. My wife's making me take the vitamins. <laughs> Hey, yesterday, after work, I went home. The wife and I got ready to go out to Best Buy, shoot a video, take some pics of the Samsung Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. And I'm gonna tell you, man, two gorgeous, beautiful devices. Just, just, an amazing design on these two devices. I've got some really great feedback and some questions. I wanted to cover a couple of the questions that I got back. And, and again, I want to just say thanks to my wife for going along and being a part of it and getting involved, helping me shoot video, you know, giving me that time to be able to create content for the team just a uh, an amazing support to be able to help me out and uh, make it a uh, make it more about what team is that's team you know so uh, really appreciative to my wife for doing that yesterday a couple questions that I'm getting back. One was, what did I think about the home button that is actually underneath the display when you actually touch that specific area to get the device going, to turn it on, you apply a little pressure, it responds and it's underneath. That's how they were able to minimize the body of, of both devices and give you more display the infinity display now, I wasn't able to talk a lot about that yesterday I had so much time to work with when I watched the video again after I edited it I realized how much more I wanted to say but again I was limited in my time with these devices thanks to my buddy I appreciate the fact that he was just generous to give me that time there at Best Buy and yeah totally stoked on that Thank you again, my friend. But yeah, you you just you get used to that little area there under you know it's again the home button underneath the uh, recent applications and and the back button all there. It's just learning how to do something a little different, and I I, I like it. I love it at this point. The response was 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 quick and easy. I mean, it just that's it works. I'd rather have more display. I like the fact that they can totally take these devices now and make them smaller, but give you more, especially in the display area. And it's a beautiful Super AMOLED display. So yeah, I'm not even gonna say I like it. I, you know, just just that time with. The S8 and the S8 Plus. I love the response of the home button, the other two buttons underneath the display. They responded really well. And yeah, totally digging it. I didn't obviously play with the fingerprint sensor because, well, it wasn't set up for that. But I'm sure that that's something that you're gonna get used to too. Yeah, I don't like the placement of that, but we're, those are one of those sacrifices that from what I was reading and doing my homework in, it's just a, Kind of one of those last minute things for where to put that specific feature which is a security feature which is a practical feature and regardless they didn't take it away so when we look at well i don't really like the placement when we think about it that way but they didn't take it away it's there yes it's next to the camera lens and you're going to smudge that up trying to find that if you're a lefty it's going to be a lot easier well I like to use my left 
and a lot just to get used to using both hands. When I play basketball, I dribble with both hands. So, yeah, it's a matter of getting used to it and the fact that they didn't sacrifice it completely, even though it's in an odd spot, it's fine with me. I, I'm, I'm okay with that. And again, that's over time you get used to it. Um, the other thing was... Um, some of you have to wait because you're on a on a monthly plan and you're still buying your device and, and you're wanting it now, but you're like, oh, I got to, you know, um, there's ways that you can get out of that, but it's going to cost you a little more money. I say, wait, be patient, be patient. Um, you know, the device is going to be here. Devices are going to be here. And, and if you're waiting, going towards the end of the year, especially in the holidays, you're, I'm pretty sure you're going to get some great deals from your carriers. So it may benefit you to wait. It may benefit you to wait for all the, the reviews to come back, the raw and real underground reviews. You know, not just one, two or three, but a few to add to your homework to make sure this is what you're going to want anyway when that time comes to upgrading from the device you're currently using to the next device, which could possibly be the S8 or the S8 Plus. So, um, yeah, be patient. They're not going anywhere. The other thing is um, waiting for the Note 8 to pick over this specific two devices, these specific two devices, the S8 and the S8 Plus. Well, it all depends on what you want. The Note 8... If this is what the S8 and S8 Plus is, which is amazing at this point, and between now and the time that I receive my device, I'll go back in there and play with it again and again and again. I'll get a feel for it. What is it that you want a device? Now, you know you're going to get the S Pen on the Note 8. You're most likely going to almost get the same design. Okay, give or take a little. The SA Plus is almost, and I and I know I'm I'm stepping over the line because I don't know. Okay, I don't know, but I would have to assume if I could assume this is sort of like a wish list in assuming what it could be, and I'm going to say that it's, in my opinion, in my assumption, it's going to be close to what the S8 Plus is, and you're going to have an S Pen, you're going to have an Infinity Display, but because they have time to work with that fingerprint sensor, they, they may put that somewhere else. If you think a lot about that, they may put that somewhere else, which then would be that much better for you if you wait for the Note 8, right? But realistically as well, it's gonna cost you more money. I don't think that we're looking at, well, I don't know. It could be 850, it could be 900, 950. Again, I'm just throwing those price points out there. But you, you are going to get that much more. Okay, so that's something you're gonna to have to watch. But if that S pin is really important to you, and you utilize that a lot, then I would say wait. Because the S the 8S and the 8 S8 Plus, now I'm screwing that all up. Need some more coffee. Um, they're gonna be there. So if you decide it's just too much money for what little they might have added to the Note 8, then you can always pick up the S8 Plus because at least it's it's a bigger device, right? Smaller form factor, but bigger device. So those are just a few questions that were tossed out there. Great questions, a lot of feedback, appreciate, man, less than 24 hours, and there is a lot of views on that video. And I really wanted to give you something, um, I mean, we did it on a fly. My wife and I did it on a fly, she jumped in on it, we did it, and I got home, she had to take care of some stuff and I edited the video and threw it up and and I really wanted to give you because it wasn't in my hands at home I wasn't an unboxing where I had to have a little time to think about what I wanted to do you know for all of you these type of vids can either turn out or not 
and I'm really happy with what I got out there for all of you and what I'm getting in the res as far as feedback and the views man thank you so much thank you so much and keep asking me questions you'd be surprised how much I look at and get a feel for within a little bit of time with playing a device I play with so many I touch many of these devices that's why I can I can kind of go into guessing about battery life with devices when I'm asked about battery life on because I play with so many I, I get this these these uh, this feel in my mind and then you know it's almost mental and physical with playing with so many you almost know what you're gonna get by using because I know myself and how I use devices so yeah ask away I'll do my best to answer um, be patient if you have to wait remember spending that much money for, for the most of us isn't that easy you just just don't throw it out there you have to really do your homework know what you're getting as being a reviewer here on YouTube it's 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 almost one of those things that you sort of sacrifice to have to a year ago I wouldn't have been able to do this this year I am so um, enjoy doing those type of bits for all of you to get you excited to look forward to it to start adding this information to your homework and uh, I'm just glad you've enjoyed it so far. Also, got an update on my LG G6 from T-Mobile, a system update. I haven't found any information yet on exactly what the update is. It didn't give me that information unless I'm missing it somewhere on my LG G6. Uh, from what I'm reading this morning really quickly, which is probably some small minor um, tweaks, uh, but I haven't noticed anything that really... <clears throat> needed any tweaks on my LG G6. The performance by call quality, messaging, battery life, everything is 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 really efficient on this device. It's, it's a performer and I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm using it right now to shoot this video. So I don't know what they could, it's not a security patch so I don't know what they're tweaking. <clears throat> it could be, I know that the, uh, the, you know, the back key or button, whatever you want to call them, recent and home buttons there. I heard, what was it? Who was it? Tony Pazzo mentioned he would like to be able to um, be able to have those go away a little bit easier, have an option to work with that area. Um, so maybe that that's something that had to do. I don't know. I haven't really tested anything out. But um, if you notice what it is or you find out what it is on the web, send that information my way. Leave that down below. I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. But LG G6, T-Mobile variant, already a system update. And that's a, that's a good thing. That means whatever it is, <clears throat> LG wanted to work on it right away. So there you go. Again, thanks everybody for watching the vid yesterday. Appreciate it. Obviously, a lot of you excited about the S8, S8 Plus from Samsung. Gorgeous, beautiful device. Well-constructed device. The quality build is just phenomenal. In that little bit of time, yes.